Master Fu comes from a distinguished Tai Chi lineage. His grandfather, Fu Zhongwen, was a disciple and relative of Yang Cheng Fu, a top Yang style Tai Chi Grand Master. The Fu family settled in Shanghai in the 1920s. By 1940, they had founded the Yongnian Tai Chi Association. It quickly became one of the most popular martial arts centers in Shanghai. The name Yongnian refers to the Fu family's home county. In Chinese, the name means longevity, which is the main benefit Master Fu believes practitioners receive. This is a very common place, but it has a lot of history in it. It's been 6-7 years ago. Before, we were here in Yongnian Tai Chi Quan Se. Everyone came here to train, many people. So, everyone put their clothes on this. And the clothes, the clothes, the clothes, the clothes, the clothes. So, from here, you can see that before, the people who came to the house were just in the outside. 练拳，包括我也是，每天晚上啊，都有二三十个人多的时候，少的时候也有啊十几个，所以一直延续到祖父去世，一九九四年，这里始终很多人。The tradition of paying respect to one's ancestors is strictly observed at Master Fu's new suburban Shanghai residence. And it is a sacred place for the Tai Chi master. There, he gives instruction to his disciples and checks on their progress. <laughs> So Taiji就是邻居家的阿婆每天早晨去锻炼的一种项目，所以大家都说太极好，但是都有一个想法，等我退休了我就练。但是刚才呢，哎，他出拳啊，整个人，他人家到太极作为一种武术，曾经在清末
master whose short stay in Shanghai is packed with scheduled Tai Chi lessons. Today, he's been invited by one of his disciples to instruct a German Tai Chi enthusiast. I practice Tai Chi since 2005. I'm as a chief representative, I have many things, uh, many things to think about. And if I wake up in, at night at 2 or 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, and if I cannot sleep, then I practice Tai Chi to calm the land. In doing this movement, we try again, yeah, okay? You have to focus on the wrist and lift up your wrist further into the front and stretch. That, uh, of course, you need a good master, right? And uh, I want to say the best masters come from China. Right, so there are not so many Chinese practicing Tai Chi in Germany because of language problems. The suit, when you hang up, the suit arms naturally spill around to the front. So it's not like that. So our arm actually naturally can drop it down. It's a bit funny. 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 所以说呢，也经过了我自己吧，十多二十年的摸索，我尽可能的不用翻，利用我自己的肢体语言，包括我的英语水平，呃，也是能够应付一下我们以英语系为主的全语。Remember that in here. So this is a hill turn. So, like, uh, you know, Chinese people like play mahjong. You know that, huh? <laughs> okay. The play mahjong, I always say, that's a table tai chi. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So you are thinking of hand is like a uh, wash the mahjong. Go on. Man. But you have to not just only arms. You have to with the body together. 语言和传统的思维方式是我们传播中的一个障碍。但是呢，这些呢，也也是弊，但是同时也带来了利。所谓的利，就是当他对这种文化不是很了解的时候，他会非常感兴趣，他有一定的审美。所以说呢，很多事情都有利和弊两面性。Li Qi is one of Master Fu's disciples. He has been practicing Tai Chi for over ten years. A white-collar worker during the week. Lee spends two hours a day commuting to the office. To utilize that time, he has developed a creative way to practice Tai Chi on the go. To practice Tai Chi, you need three elements. One is the master. The other is the time. You need to spend more time on Tai Chi. You need to learn Tai Chi. The third is to have a circle. It's like we have a circle of Tai Chi. It's like we have a circle of Tai Chi. It's like we have a circle of Tai Chi. It's like we have a circle of Tai Chi. As Master Fu travels the world, Li Qi works hard in his spare time to promote Tai Chi at home. Together with other of Master Fu's disciples, he is building a Tai Chi community in Shanghai. One of their initiatives is to hold weekly Tai Chi training sessions throughout the city free of charge. Li 
These events are marketed using social networking sites and mobile apps. This health club in downtown Shanghai is one of the venues the Tai Chi Society uses. Master Fu's disciples give Tai Chi lessons here to visitors from all walks of life. Master Fu has been invited to give a special lesson before his departure. Hey, Chen Yong Mahao. Hello. 把我们的思想放松其实也是与后春舍把以前前人传下来的太极真正的太极我们这个动作要求脚腿膝胯以外肩要放松
我们很多的太极拳教练都很辛苦，他们有选择职业的权利，但我没有。我生下来就在这个太极的家庭，我的生命跟这个太极是息息相关的。所以不管太极如何，我始终要伴随着他，呵护着他，让太极折会更多。